From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. I suggest maybe we we travel to to the United Kingdom first because there's something really interesting that happened here. I, I don't know if anybody's experienced this in your personal lives, uh, but you have probably seen this scene in countless films and countless television shows where someone says, uh, hey, uh, are you, you know, are you Mr. Noel Brown or hey, are you Mr. Matt Frederick? And then you say yes, like a sucker, and they go, You've been served, and they hand you papers. <laughs> or they just do like a really hot dance move up on you and they say, You got served. That's a yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a better service. You you do have to pay a premium to get people served that way. They're like a yeah. singing telegram at that point. But uh, <laughs> but combining the two is the best. Right. But get it, you know, it's like a little bit of uh it puts a silver lining on things. But it turns out being served is a, a real process and it's uh it's something that maybe is a little misunderstood in the world of western fiction i would say because if you've never had a legal experience with this then it sounds like all you have to do is never tell a stranger your name right never admit who you are and just be ready to run away but i think it's it's not that quite that simple just for uh just for comparison in the u.s uh yeah. there is a thing where you can if if you're getting stonewalled by the person you're trying to serve but you know they are in regular contact with someone like a spouse or a child or whatever then you can serve that person instead and it still counts so ah, i didn't know that yeah well yeah um in this case I don't know exactly how it works with British law or with, with uh, law over there in the UK. Uh, but, and, and you know what, Ben, I actually see this, what we're about to talk about. It's more like it, from Prince Andrew's perspective, it's more like thinking you're, you've finished the film, you've conquered whatever the antagonist is. Uh -huh. If, if the protagonist in the story is Prince Andrew, yeah. You feel like that that's over and then all of a sudden it's back. The the person is back, right? It wakes up from mm -hmm. whatever they were knocked out or something. It's but, even enough to make him sweat, right? Yes, exactly. And I think that's a very good thing in this case. Not mm -hmm. only equating it in that way because the horror movie genre does this a lot. Um, Prince Andrew was a part of many of the allegations that were against Jeffrey Ep Epstein. At least he took part in a few instances within the saga that is Jeffrey Epstein's uh, sexual abuse and human trafficking thing. God, I don't even know how to say that. But It's a conspiracy. It's a, a huge conspiracy and just a, a terrible, terrible thing that went on for a very long time. And Prince and Andrew was accused specifically by a person named Virginia Roberts Geoffrey. I don't know how to say that correctly. G-I-U-F-F-R-E. And there, you've likely seen a picture of Prince Andrew and Virginia together that it circulated a lot. It's when she was very, very young. The two of them are posed together. You can find that picture. She has been attempting to hold Prince Andrew to account for his actions stuff that occurred when she was underage and she's been trying to do that for a long time. You know, her, her allegations are that when she was 17, she was sexually assaulted by the Prince as a part of Jeffrey Epstein's whole thing. And the, the issue they've been dealing with is attempting to officially serve the Prince, these papers like Ben was alluding to at the beginning of this story. And it is a weird thing when you are British royalty and you have so many layers of human beings between you and the public. Even law enforcement, when, when officers have attempted to serve the prince these papers, they have been unsuccessful numerous times. There's actually some interest. There's some stories in here from The Guardian. I'll give you the story you can reference right now if you'd like to. 
The story is New York Court to Hold Pre-Trial Conference on Civil Suit Filed Against Prince Andrew. And within here, you can see how the papers were not handed over you know, to the prince the way you would in the stories we've described earlier. It, they were handed to some Metropolitan Police officers mm-hmm. who were at the gates of a property in, <laughs> on which the prince was hanging out. Uh, where he was located at the time. And that occurred on the 27th of August. And just another piece of info here, a group called Blackfords, this is a law firm that, according to uh, The Guardian, is representing Prince Andrew in, quote, certain UK matters. Um, They question whether or not these papers were served correctly because they went to a police officer. But it's not as though, you know, you're walking up on a highly guarded property you could just walk up, you know, past the officers, past the private security, whoever else is there, and just hand papers to a literal prince. <laughs> Be fun to try. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, how I, would you get in? How would how would you how would you uh, how would you do that reverse heist? Because you're delivering something instead of taking it. Uh, you just dress up like a caterer. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just joking. I don't. I don't know. Dr- I don't think dress up. If <laughs> the old New Jersey trick is to put on a construction helmet, an orange vest, have a walkie-talkie, and be loudly complaining into it as you stroll by security, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, Vinny, I told you it's four. It's four. You're looking at the wrong. You're looking at it. No, it's it's a it's a four by two, not a two by four. It's a, excuse me, Christ, these guys. You know, like, oh, that. Wait, is your name Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> you got, you've yeah. been saved. You've, you've been, been saved. <laughs> saved. And then drop the accent and be like, good day, sir. I'm trying to uh, think of other, of other cartoony examples of that. It's a thing. It's a joke you see in lots of like TV shows. Or maybe there's a character. No, I know what it was. It was, uh, what's his face? Um, Seth Rogen in, I believe, Pineapple Express played a guy whose job it was to serve people with papers. And he is always donning different, like, weird disguises in order to do it. Like, I think he serves them to, like, a doctor or something and puts on scrubs or something to, like, you know, pose as, like, a whatever, like a, a surgical assistant or something like that. But it's definitely a pop culture thing that to get, no one wants to be served. So to do it, you got to sometimes be a little tricky. Uh, obviously, these folks were not tricky enough. That's the idea, but this, um, this, it's interesting what you're mentioning about Blackford's Matt, because I was, I was following that closely. This is something that I think is, is worth discussing in future episodes. But it, it occurred to me earlier this weekend, what's the difference between a really high priced lawyer and just a regular run of the mill lawyer or law firm if the law is indeed just and equal? Right. If the mechanisms are the same, why do you have to pay one group more? Uh, what makes Blackford so special? Well, they're they're ready to go to the ring for this. But I I also heard, and I think the Guardian article mentions this too, that Blackford's has refused to participate in the legal system, basically, which I I didn't know you could do. Well, yeah, and I'm sorry, what makes sense? What does that mean? Well, it means that <laughs> this this case. This suit is originating in New York City, in mm-hmm. within the United States, against a member of royalty in the United Kingdom. Very, very far away, very different legal systems. Right. So it's essentially like extradition, a form of extradition in some weird way, or it, in a way, it's a juris. It's a question of jurisdiction, though. It's a question of legal yeah. jurisdiction. Right. It's them the allowing least. U.S. jurisdiction to apply in the U.K., which. Uh, objectively, I, I can understand why that would be uh, a bad idea, uh, even if the the guy wasn't wasn't royalty, uh, with all the unfair advantages that provides. Yeah. Uh, but still, I, mm, yeah, I it's sticky. Well, it's yes, sticky. it is. And if this is a chess game, and it is, all of it is. Uh, it's there are no good moves for the prince and for the Blackfords here because the the trial is moving forward or at least it's taking the first steps right to really move forward to get to a trial and if if they just you know say no 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 it's not happening this isn't happening you can't do that no 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 they can do that perhaps for a while but it keeps it in the news and that means that their client prince andrew is constantly getting bad press and his reputation is being, you know, I guess you would say sullied, sullied further and indeed. further. Um, 
and the other thing that, that's really tough, uh, I th- what was it? Uh, when Prince Andrew was, when they attempted to serve him, I don't know exactly what was happening, but when they were seeking comment, I think when the guardian was seeking comment or something, uh, they found that the prince was at this place called Balmoral, or I don't know how to say that correctly. B A L M O R A L. It's, uh, the queen's Scottish estate. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, he was there, and according to the Guardian, he was having a shooting party oh, over the weekend. Oh, oh, now, when you hear shooting party, what do you think? Uh, like skeet, hmm. ducks? No, they're like filming something. No, I'm no. thinking like the, it's like <laughs> yeah. a bunch of old British Fox dudes with, with guns uh, mm-hmm. shooting clay pigeons or something. Yeah, Cheney style. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. According to I think it was Sky that I was reading, uh, they had he had a shotgun in his hand when he was photographed on the estate. So now I'm rolling around Balmoral with a shotgun, right? (laughs) Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm making light of this. Uh, We're talking about something awful that, you know, happened to somebody, at least according to the person filing suit. Yes. Um, But it's it. And the reason why it's slightly humorous to me is because of what I said at the top of this story. I think Prince Andrew thought this was all going away to an Mm -hmm. extent. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm imagining that that's me. That's my opinion. uh, When Jeffrey Epstein died, like, okay, well this, that is going away now. Then Jeffrey Epstein's, uh, you know, confidant and partner for a long time went is like started going through the legal system. And now, you know, the, the person alleging very serious things against him is still here, still making accusations, still trying to get a trial. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, I imagine, I imagine him at that shooting party feeling very scared. Well, I, you know, you have to wonder, it's tough to, it, it's tough to really get a sense of someone's inner, you know, inner thoughts in these sorts of situations. Uh, you can only go by what they have publicly declared and at multiple turns, in this case and in this story, uh, the Duke of York, oh, Prince Andrew is the legit Duke of York, uh, has repeatedly uh, repeatedly lied. Or uh, perhaps his legal team would say that he was mistaken, right? Because he first denied ever meeting this person, and then a picture of them surfaced, right? Featuring Ghislaine, also in the background. And, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, yeah. Yeah, and then that's the Epstein confidant, and then this, and then the story changed again. The sweat reference I made was to his bizarre, uh, his his bizarre attempt to dismiss uh, other evidence against him or other accusations related to this against him. Uh, but the big question for a lot of people is whether the big question is ultimately one of whether this whether the UK will manage to shut down this investigation. I think a lot of people are heartened that it hasn't disappeared from the news, uh, but there is something else that um, I guess if we walked through Blackford's explanation, what they're basically saying is because this was a US based thing served by the Metropolitan Police, it was not served in the same way that a UK based uh, summons would be served, uh, or these, you know, these documents, and therefore it doesn't exist, or it doesn't, you know, it do- it doesn't uh, cut the legal mustard, is what mm-hmm. they're saying, and that is a big loophole um, to to try, uh, but maybe the guy does feel the walls closing in. Um, we we just have to be very, very clear um, in a. In a monarchy, it is much easier for members of that upper class to get away with things. That's just that's just the truth. You know what I mean? And that's not saying that every member of the monarchy is somehow a terrible person. Quite the opposite. They're just people, like most of the folks listening to the show today. Yes, but they're dripping with power and influence. And they've got layer upon layer of humans between them and anyone that would wish to take them to task for anything that occurs. So just if you are interested in continuing to follow this, continue to search Virginia Roberts Geoffrey, G-I-U-F-F-R-E, or Giuffre, perhaps that's how you'd say it. Um, 
she is the person who is, you know, she and her attorneys are leading the charge to potentially get movement on the upper echelons of society uh, for crimes. You know, at least uh, they're currently alleged crimes because there hasn't been a trial yet. But it, it, I don't know. I am very interested to see if something can actually happen here. Because it feels like again, this whole this whole thing, this whole saga of of Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, it feels like there hasn't been anybody really held accountable. Uh, yeah. Um. So so we'll we'll see we'll see what occurs. Oh, I I do have one possible conspiracy for the chess strategy point. Before oh we yeah. Move on. Yeah. How uh. On a one to ten, how uh, how plausible is it? Do you think that Blackfords and the multiple handlers for this royal? How plausible is it? Do you think that they purposely put a Met police officer at the gate, knowing those papers were coming, with the idea of creating this argument? I mean, it's very possible. There was a, a an investigator. I believe private investigator who attempted to serve the papers like the day before they were officially mm-hmm. served. Guy with a great and, name, by the way, Cesar Sepulveda. Wonderful, yes, exactly. wonderful, wonderful private investigator. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt. Just had to throw that out there. The officer, officer Sepulveda, or just PI Sepulveda, PI. Uh, so yeah, he was unable to find a high ranking official or high ranking member of the staff to officially serve the papers. But the next day, I guess they just said, fine, here, your officers, you take it. Apologies, Mr. Sepulveda. Nobody works here. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> nobody. Uh, oof. No, no. nobody. I can here. hear them shooting shotguns in the garden. No, <laughs> those, no, are, no, those are no, automated. No. Nobody, they, uh, nobody here but us foxes and clay pigeons. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting question, though, isn't it? Because it's like, I mean, so much control over the law if you're in the fa- if you're in a family like that you know i mean you can kind of get him to do whatever you want essentially i mean you you've got an official detail like that who you can instruct to not cooperate and and they ultimately take their orders from you and and your dynasty well they take Ooh. their orders from the queen Ooh. yeah but, but this guy's <laughs> well, an extension also, of the queen right also the united kingdom has a terrible track record when it comes to prosecuting well-to-do sexual predators i mean we can name the politicians if you like um we can drop jimmy savile if you like um he was the children's television presenter right Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yep yep uh so we'll see what happens in this case or this attempted case against prince andrew Uh, We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more strange news. 